Hello YouTube, it's Mindbender here, and at long last, it's time to do Mech Suit Madness Part 2, the Ralphie edition. So Ralphie, for those of you who don't know, is a little robot that turns into a little mech suit that I designed a few months ago and showed off in his own video. And originally, Ralphie was meant to just be... This one's Ralphie, by the way. He's, he's the original, the OG. And we'll get a little closer look at him without all of his cohorts in the background. Ralphie was just meant to be a little... Helper, helper bot, helper bot slash mech suit. He was meant to be peaceful. He doesn't start fights. He just goes to work with his partner and slash creator, Hannah. And they're just a little friendly duo. Hannah just works down at the local uh, manufacturing plant, and she built Ralphie as her little companion to help her out with odd jobs. Also, since the city that Ralphie and Hannah live and work in is quite dangerous, Ralphie has a little self-defense feature where he can transform into a tiny little emergency mech suit that Hannah can then pilot. And obviously it has this blaster up top that can be deployed to defend Hannah against any type of mecha criminals or gang members or, I don't know, thugs. Any, anything that goes bump in the night, Ralphie's there to defend Hannah from it. But, in my previous video, I showed off that a group of mercenaries that look like this, they are not meant to be Marvel's AIM agents, I just used the minifigure because I like it. They got a hold of Ralphie's design and they made a more villainous version of Ralphie that I actually no longer have built, but you can see it in the previous video. So, I thought of that as kind of a corruption of Ralphie's character, that this villainous organization now has their own version of Ralphie and they're using him as an enforcer and a machine of war and mass producing him for like their, their ground forces, their infantry. Hannah, of course, being the noble soul that she is, could not allow this to stand. So, she built Team Ralphie. These are all offshoots of the original Ralphie mech, but with certain specifications to make them a bit more prepared for combat and meant to kind of help Hannah get back her design and get it out of the wrong hands. They're kind of, I don't know, in my cyberpunk dystopian world, these are meant to be kind of a cheesy little version of a superhero group, so we're gonna go through these all one by one, show you what they do and what they transform into, so we'll get them all off screen. I oh, guess we're starting with that one. So, and I'm kinda glad we're starting with this one because he is the most straightforward. This is Rambo, and Rambo is quite similar to um, the more villainous version of Ralphie that we saw earlier as far as armament. He's got this big assault rifle. And you can see he does have this uh, gray, orange, and, you know, I guess green if you count the eye color scheme that makes him very bright, which I thought was quite important because, like I said, Rambo is kind of heavily armed. He's meant to be the, the soldier of the group. So I wanted him to have a very friendly color scheme to get across the fact that despite his weapons, he is a good guy. Ralph, or sorry, not Ralphie, Rambo is piloted by Peter. All of these uh, Ralphie offshoots have their own designated pilot, because Hannah had friends and got them in to help her out on her quest. So this is Peter, and Rambo folds down, and unlike Ralphie, Rambo folds out, you can't even see it, a teeny tiny little missile rack for teeny tiny little missile rack things. And obviously Peter just hops right in there, he's got his little blast shield helmet, and Looks like he's wearing some armor. You can see Peter is very much geared up for combat. He's ready to go. You can see his face. He is... He's happy to be here. So yeah, he's got this weapon here with like a grenade launcher down here. Uh, iron sight up here and then the missile rack up there. So that's Rambo. Rambo's a good soldier. He's... He's bloody. He's ready to go. Alright, who's next? Next we're going to do... Ah, uh, we'll do the twins. I call these guys the twins because you can kind of see, I it, I think it's pretty clear that I built these two at the same time. You can see that even though they have different colors, they kind of offset with the black and white, obviously, and then the orange and green, the color placement, and the types of weapons are all very similar. So, I call them the twins. The twins are Hush and Blacklight, and they're kind of meant to be the stealth group, or the stealth specialists of the group. Blacklight and Hush are piloted by Katrina and Roger. I guess they could be brother and sister, but I haven't really thought about if these two have any type of relationship. But sure, let's say brother and sister, just for just for consistency's sake. So these are twins, and these are twins. That's canon now. I've said it. We're going to look at Blacklight first, because he shows up better on camera. 
Blacklight is the ninja of the group, as evidenced by his glowing green cyberpunk sword, which I quite like. And then Roger, I imagine, is quite a serious guy. You can see he's very stoic. He's on board, he's a good guy, but he's definitely the most no-nonsense of the group, and he's got his little blast shield, very similar to the one Peter wore. I debated giving them different helmets, but I figured, you know what? These guys aren't all about gimmicks. I am, but they're not, so they can have the same helmet. That's not a big deal. Now, Blacklight is kind of special among the group in that he doesn't gain any weaponry when he turns into a mech suit. He literally is only or armed with his sword, and that's, that's enough for Blacklight. So, when he opens up into a mech, I just used one of these uh, modified tiles here to add like a roll bar, basically, so... Roger is protected a little bit more so when he's in his mech suit mode from above and I guess from the front. I mean, all of these guys are pretty cartoonishly exposed. It's like a G.I. Joe style mech. If G.I. Joe had mechs, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's Blacklight. And I, I think Blacklight is definitely one of my favorites. He just looks solid. I like his green blade. I like what he's about. So now we'll look at his twin, Hush. And Hush is kind of meant to be a partner to Blacklight. While Blacklight is actually going in and doing the stealth work, Hush is making sure that he is not detected. Hush has uh, these little knives for hands, which I quite like. I, I debated not doing this, you know, practicality-wise. It doesn't really make sense to not have hands, but whatever. None of this makes sense. We're just having fun. So... When Katrina takes control of Hush, and also you can kind of see on Katrina's face, she's she's a bit more uh, a bit more upbeat than uh, Roger seems to be. She seems to have a bit more of a bubbly personality, which I appreciate. That's good offset. So when Hush turns into a mech suit, what he deploys is meant to be a radar array. So this works for both detecting enemy enemy positions and enemy mech suits and any stuff like that, but also for, like, jamming, you know, counterintelligence. This jams enemy scanners and makes sure that Blacklight is not detected when on his missions. So, Hush is kind of meant to be more of a support role. It does have the weapons for self-defense, but I do imagine this one being seeing the uh, least amount of combat amongst the team, but... That's the twins, and I really, really like posing them together, and I'm very happy to have a little team within this team, so we'll move on from them. Up next, we're going to take a look at Zap. Zap is the tech of the group. Very, very few colors on this one, but you see he's got the electric blue kind of coursing through him, and he's meant to be kind of electricity-based. Here's his pilot, Zeke. You can see Zeke is also clearly a very tech-savvy guy. He's got his special heads-up display. Oh. He's got his uh, special visor here, which I imagine is giving him a heads-up display. You can see he's got his armor that he's wearing. He's very, very geared up and protected. This is probably insulated, so he doesn't end up electrocuting himself. And these little blasters on Zap are meant to be... Uh, little energy cannons. They can either fire out stun bolts, or I don't like to think of this team as being super lethal, even though Rambo has all his stuff. Uh, but I guess these could be ramped up to kill if they needed to. Obviously not their goal, but possible. And when Zap turns into a mech suit, he deploys this big, extra-large energy cannon up top. So this is one of the other more heavily armed mechs, although I imagine all of his cannons can be non-lethal. So I like to think that a blast from this would be powerful enough to either short out a mech suit completely or at least temporarily disable it and give it some technical difficulties. And then, obviously, the cannons down here, which have these nice little... I imagine these are kind of like gathering electricity, like pulling static out of the air, or... I don't know. Obviously, I'm not an electrical engineer, so... Anyone who feels like correcting me is certainly going to do so in the comments, so I look forward to that. Anyway, that's Zap, and I'm a big fan of his as well. I'm a big fan of all of these. It's almost like I built them. And last, but certainly not least, is Banshee. And Banshee's pilot is named Lucy. And Lucy likes to call herself the Anti-Ninja, and we'll see why in a second. Well, for starters... Very, very bright colors. You can see Lucy and Black, or not Blacklight, um, Banshee both are very, very brightly colored. And that is why they call themselves the Anti-Ninjas. There's nothing stealth about them. When uh, Banshee turns into a mech suit, he deploys this. 
And obviously Lucy jumps in there. I like the red and the yellow and the blue. That all looks very good. This is meant to be a sonic cannon. So this fires off just a massive blast of sound. And it's all very forward projected, so Lucy is protected from it. And this is kind of like, almost like a riot suppression tool. Like if they're against a large, a large infantry force, a big sonic blast from the cannon will pretty much incapacitate them because it's very loud and very disorienting and quite painful to be subjected to. And then obviously she's got the little swords here too, just for a little more up close and personal defense. So yeah, that is Banshee. And obviously now with all the loud noises and loud colors, you can see how this one got the name Anti-Ninja. So that is all the individual Ralphie mechs. Let's put them all back together for a little group shot action. There's Hannah and Ralphie. And let's see, I think I had Hush right here. Whoop, oh, get back up. There was Banshee. And we had Zap all the way in the back, even though he's one of my favorites. And we have Blacklight. The twins make very good uh, flanking, flanking characters. They look very good as a pair. And then we'll just throw Rambo right back here for good measure. And that is Team Ralphie. Local superheroes protecting the city from evildoers. It's a cheesy idea, but my LEGO world is all about cheesy ideas, so I'm a big fan of these guys. And I hope you are too. I want to make a, uh, I want to eventually make this whole set available on Mock Hub as like one big package you can buy and get all of these different mechs. I probably won't be able to include the minifigures because that will drive the price through the roof and then people will yell at me and I don't want that. But I will definitely be making these robots and mechs available and the instructions for uh, the Ralphie design. I mean, all these offshoots don't have instructions of their own, but they will eventually. But if you want to just build Ralphie and get the basic idea of how these mechs and robots are designed, uh, that will be linked below on my pay hip page in the uh, pinned comment and the description. So make sure to take a look there. But until next time, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Mech Suit Madness Part 2. Mech Suit Madness Part 3 is probably something I'll do eventually, but I'm not going to make any promises because this took me a really long time to do, and I know that gets frustrating. So until next time, I've been Mindbender, and I will talk to you later.